Welcome to MSC Machinery. This is Larry, the machinery guy. Today what we're going to cover is blade welding. Why there is there a blade welder on the machine, the process that we're going to follow to weld a blade, and also why you would want to have it there. So imagine if you had a 12-inch block of material and you want to cut a 6-inch circle out of that 12-inch block. There's a number of ways to do it, but the most effective way to do it is on the bandsaw. So what we would do first is identify the center of that hole, drill a hole through the center of that, feed the blade through there, weld the blade, cut it out, break the blade, and then we have a nice six inch hole in there. A very big time saving device, and that's why that blade welder is on the machine. So if you give me a second or two, we're just gonna go over here, and we're gonna show you the process of how to weld that blade. First thing we're going to do is I took a small section of blade. I don't want to use a whole piece just for this demonstration. A key thing to remember also is these are designed for carbon steel blades, not bimetal blades. So here we go. We're just going to cut the blade off, theoretical point, hopefully between the two pieces. This is a critical portion right here, is, and people often forget that, is to degrease the blade. You ever try to weld something and you have a lot of grease on there? You get a bubbly weld. The same thing applies for welding a blade. So I have a little degreaser over here. Going to spritz that, wipe the grease off, so I get a nice clean weld. Next thing I'm going to do is look at the blade, make sure I have the tooth configuration correct where I want it. I'm going to do a mirror image when I grind it, so if I am a little off square when I grind the blade for a nice clean edge, it's going to match up when I flip it around. And I'm just squaring that up. Make sure I have a nice clean edge on both sides. <coughs> going to put the blade in the blade welder. Lock it in place. Set my pressure. And what that does is this is called the butt weld. Welding two like materials together without any filler. I'm melting that material very rapidly and welding it together. You're going to see a little sparks here. Hopefully I won't spontaneously combust and we'll be okay. So then we'll examine that blade for weld. We have weld on both sides, which is great. But we're not done yet. The blade is very, very strong at the weld. Now, if I go to flex that, because I have to go around that wheel of the, of the bandsaw, it's going to break. So we have a process called annealing, where we're going to sacrifice some of that strength for flexibility. It's called an annealing process. What you do is you put it out here, the second level, and you'll see that blade get a little cherry red, and I'll gradually decrease the heat, taking some of that strength away and making it a little softer. And before you go any further, what you want to do is you want to flex that blade. Make sure that it's not going to break when you put it on there. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. And the final process is you're going to grind that away. You're going to grind that weld away. Because that weld has to fit through the guides. The guides are right here. And if you've ever done any blade welding and you hear a th thunk, th thunk, th thunk, that's that weld is not correctly ground. So we're going to grind that away. And then the final thing is we want to make sure this edge is also square. So. So, there you have a welded blade, ready to go to be put on a bandsaw, flexible enough to go around the arc of that. I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you for watching the MSC video. We're built to make you better. Have a great day.